all welcome to homeschooling with hera hope everyone is well in today's video i'll be sharing with you the phonics day-to-day -day lesson plan for teachers and homeschoolers however before starting the lesson plan let me tell you some crucial points that you need to consider before you start teaching phonics to kiddos the first point is follow a systematic scheme it means that don't jump from one phonics program to another phonics program or don't blindly follow each and everything. Follow a systematic synthetic phonics program that is designed by professionals and is applied by teachers in schools internationally. Here I would recommend you to follow the Jolly Phonics Phonics scheme because we have an easy access and there is lots and lots of material that we can use as a homeschooler or as a teacher too. Now the second point to remember, don't teach letter names first. This is a big mistake that we usually make. Because kids need to know the letter sounds to read words. It's just not required to teach the letter names before sound or even with sounds. Children often struggle in reading if they are taught letter names and sounds together. So please don't make this mistake. Only teach sounds with lowercase letters or small letters. The third point to remember is teach blending and segmenting since the beginning. This is another mistake that we often make. We keep teaching children the sounds from A to Z or whatever phonics scheme we are following and we don't teach them blending until the letter sounds are finished. So you are not supposed to do this. As soon as you teach them the first few sounds, start modeling, blending and segmenting for them. They might get it at once or they might take some time, uh, but keep showing them how to blend sounds into words and how to segment words into sounds. And keeping these three points in mind, let's start with our first day Jolly Phonics lesson plan. Yes, I'm following the Jolly Phonics Phonics scheme, so my things will be according to this. So the day one. The first thing that you will do is to introduce the sound with a story. In Jolly Phonics, we have a story cards. I'm just going to show you. The first letter is that we introduce to children, right? So you can have this picture with you and a little story that you can either make yourself or you can get it from the Jolly Phonics teacher's book. So show this picture to children and tell them something about the characters like this is Sam and this is Susan. Whenever you say a sound word, put a little emphasis on that. Whenever you say the sound, you need to make it more clear than the other things. For example, on a lovely day, Sam takes his dog Susan for a walk. Susan starts barking as she spots something scary and spotty, making a hissing sound like sss, sss. Sam skips over to see why Susan is barking, and there he finds a big spotty snake hissing loudly. Sss, sss. Terrified Sam grabs hold of Susan and runs back home. If you are teaching non-native speakers, try to demonstrate this story with your actions that if he is grabbing hold of Susan, show them the action of grabbing. If he is running or walking, act these words, right? So it will be easier for your ESL students to understand what are the meanings of the words that you are using in the story. And with phonics, you are building their vocabulary as well. So this is the first part. You need to introduce the sound with a story. The second step will be along with the story, give them the action for the sound. Move your hand in the shape of s like this. S move your hand, say the sound. S can you take out the sound while moving your hand? S the next step is to teach them the formation. Explain the formation and have them write it on the paper or any whiteboard. You can say, hold your fingers up in the air and start moving them as I'm moving. Then write letter S in the air. Remember, if you are facing towards the student, you need to write the mirror image of the letter. Only then they will see the 
right image, right? So this is s, right? And say the sound. Then you can ask them, can you please write it down on your papers or on your whiteboards? Have them practice a little. Then move on to the next step that is blending. Since this is the very first letter that we are teaching children, so they cannot blend it with something. However, you can encourage children to say the sound and you can connect it with some objects in the class or if you have some pictures. The next step will be sounding out. Here you can show them some pictures or you can give them some worksheets on which they need to mark the pictures in which they have the sound and they can cross the pictures where they don't hear sound, right? If you want to have some practice worksheets for the Jolly Phonics sequence or any phonics, you can download them for free from my website. The link is in the description box. Please check that out. How will you do this? There is just an example. Sun, socks, slippers, moon. Do you hear sun and socks? If, say, if they say yes, this is well and good. Socks, yes. Slippers, yes. Moon, moon. No, we don't hear it, so they can cross it out. You can first do some group lessons by showing them pictures on board and then they can do it on worksheets as well. Now we have the last part of our lesson and these are some fun ideas with which you can make your class more interactive. Sing the Jolly Phonics jingle. Draw some pictures of words having the sound. You can make them draw. Do some art and craft like making a collage or painting a snake. Or make shape with dough or modeling clay. If you just keep some of these activities in your class, children will really love to be there and they'll certainly enjoy your session. Now your first day lesson is finished, okay? This is day two, lesson plan for day two. In Jolly Phonics, the second sound is of letter A, so we shall introduce letter A. The steps will be the same. Uh, you need to show the picture, tell them the story, and then show them the action as well. The action for uh, letter A is like this. The sound is A ah, and you need to uh, shake your hand as if you are throwing the ants away. Ants on your arm. Next step is again, uh, tell them the formation and have them write it on the paper or board. Here you are. This is how you write A. Ah, make a semicircle kind of thing. Go up down on the same line and out. This is A, right? The next step is of blending, but since we do not have enough sounds to blend into words, so you can simply encourage children to find out A in different words. They can move around, they can find the things in which they can hear the A sound. Next is segmenting. For segmenting, you can again show them some picture, repeat the same things that we did for letter S. Okay, if you want some worksheets, they are there in the description box below. However, now we have a new step that is dictation. When you are teaching the second sound that is A, call out the sounds A and S for children to write. Now they need to write these sounds without seeing them. Whereas if they are struggling, you can show them the formation again. This is just a repetition, not a test, right? And then you can have again the Jolly Phonics jingle, some art and craft activities or any other idea that can make your class fun. Now with this, the second day ends and now we are going to our day three. So the day three lesson plan will be about the letter T. The third sound in Jolly Phonics is we have to repeat the same steps that we have already done for the previous two letters. However, now we can start blending properly. The two words that you can introduce are at, at and s, at, sad. If you want to watch the complete lessons for each and every sound with all these steps, the complete playlist is in the description box. You can go there and check them out. After blending, we have the same uh, steps of sounding out and dictation. In dictation, you can dictate s, a, and t, and you can even dictate them. Can you try to write the word at or sat? Give them the leverage of writing the things wrong, okay? Now it's the time for day four. So the fourth day lesson plan is all around letter I saying the e sound. I says e. 
So you need to repeat all the steps that we have already done. Always revise the sounds that we have done previously, right? The only thing that is different is blending because we have some new words now. Children, you can teach them blending like et, et, s, e, set, set, et, set. Keep repeating these things. Some of them will get it quickly. Some of them will take time. But just don't give up. Now, this is day five. And today's sound is of letter P. The sound is P. P right? You need to follow the same steps that you have already done for the previous sounds. Don't forget to do the revision of the previous sounds. The words for blending are written here. They can blend P, E. Pet, p, a, pat, pat, tap, and tap. However, they can now sound out some other words as well. This is the word bank that you can give them after teaching them the p sound. Okay, here you have the letter s, a, t, i, and p all together. Now we have the sixth day, and this is the end of first group of Jolly Phonics. We have six sounds, so this is the sixth sound, and the sound is of letter N saying N. Mm. Follow the same steps. The blending words are here with the N mm sound. For dictation, you can now have these words, or you can say this is the word bank. You can use this in blending and segmenting. Please do not use capital letter, it's just a presentation that I made. So the font is just uh, in capital letters for kids. You need to write each and everything in small letters or lowercase letters. So you can see after just six letter sounds, children can read lots and lots of words because Jolly Phonics sequence is designed according to the frequency of the letter sounds that are used in written words. So this is how you can teach a letter a day to your kiddos or in your school or in your extra classes. If you want the worksheets of all the 42 sounds, you can get them for free from my website. And if you are teaching children online, so you can also use those worksheets online from my website. If you want to watch the lesson plan for each and every sound, again, the link to the playlist is in the description box. Check that out. Learn yourself first before you teach your kiddos. And that's all for today's video. I hope you have got something useful from it. If yes, so please hit the like button. If haven't subscribed, subscribe to my channel. I shall see you soon with something new. Take care. Bye for now. And don't forget to make it a great day. Bye.